Hi everyone, welcome to the Antique Center. I'm Rez and I'll show you today, as promised, the Soviet counterpart of the suppressed pistol in both Second World War and Cold War era. The main Soviet weapon <coughs> during the War, War, World War II was the Soviet Tokarev TT-33 pistol. Um, it's it's quite a, uh, an interesting weapon. It resembles the American Colt 911 and also the Browning high power pistol. But uh, the mechanism is the same, but the uh, design is, is slightly different. Um, I'll show you, well, the weapons is, is hosting magazine with um, uh, eight rounds. Um, it's quite quite a good pistol, it's quite reliable. A version of it was made by the Makarov company during the uh, war, but the quality wasn't the same. <clears throat> what is important, well, this was the NKVD weapon, really. Um, they used to do all sorts of, well, creepy things with it, and was used during the uh, uh, Cold War as well by the Soviets in the West Germany and in different other uh, uh, countries. What's interesting about this weapon, you'll say, well, it's just a suppressed pistol. Well, it's not just a suppressed pistol. Most of the suppressed pistols have the suppressor attached to the barrel of the weapon. Well, the Soviets thought, if you do that, then when you shoot the pistol, and I'll show you in a second, you make a bit too much noise because the pistol is semi-automatic. So, as you can see here, that's where the uh, uh, suppressor is screwed. But that's not on the barrel, it's actually on the slide, you see? Well, imagine that you load, you, you shoot with this weapon, you see? So when, when you shoot, you have that noise. Well, that's quite noisy when the weapon reloads. And after that, while well, shooting, does make so much noise. So the Soviets thought, what if, because the British had, if you remember last time, they had a bolt action uh, pistol. So <clears throat> that was really, really signed because you loaded manually. So the Soviets thought, well, what if we actually transform our pistol, we modify it, so we can reload manually. So, <clears throat> what what they did was way simple. In the, usually, the Soviet way of thinking is rather simplistic, so but very effective. So, they they said, they just thought, well, if we attach the, the suppressor to the, the barrel, <clears throat> it will make a lot of noise. But, if we attach the suppressor to the slide, that means, because the suppressor is, a, is very heavy, it is really heavy, then it won't go back by itself. So, you'll have to load it manually. So, what you do, when, when you shoot, the slide comes back in, in this manner. So, you shoot, the slide comes back in this manner, and it will stay like this, because it's not enough uh, force to actually push the heavy suppressor uh, backwards. So, you have to load it manually. So, after you shoot, the pistol stays like this, and you have to push it uh, forwards with your hand and shoot. And that makes it really, really silent. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked this episode as well. Please subscribe if you like. And um, thanks to the Antique Storehouse, <coughs> our host here, and the owners of this, this wonderful weapons. If um, you're interested in buying any of these, uh, please visit www dot antiquestorehouse.co.uk and uh, you'll see a variety of, of these weapons. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.